Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to add and customize a drop down menu to your navbar in Zara Web Designer Pro. The same technique also applies to Zara uh, Web Designer. So uh, to begin with, I've opened up this example website here. Um, it's just a one page just to show you how this works. And uh, it's already got a navbar on it. So if we just preview this, uh, I'll show you what it looks like at the moment. And if we hover over the buttons, you can see they're just uh, standard navbar buttons, but we're going to add a drop down here. And I'm going to show you some uh, tips on how to customize that. So let's close our preview and let us edit our navbar. To edit your navbar, just double click on it. And then to add some drop down links, just click the little uh, plus or expand button here beside button two, for example. And we're going to add some menu links here. So we won't bother change the text. I'm just going to double click a couple of times to add some links like this and that will basically uh, create one two three four five new buttons or button links uh, as drop down so if we click OK and just preview that you can see we've got a drop down now it doesn't look very good um, the default um, settings you're gonna have to customize these to make it look good with your website so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do that now uh, with this one I would say that looking at this it's very small the font uh, and the links are very small and pokey, so let's let's make it a little bigger. So we're going to close this, uh, double click to open our nav bar, and this button down here, pop up menu style. If you click on this, you can control what the actual drop down is like. So we're going to leave the font as Arial, and we are going to increase the font size up to 14 pixels. Um, that will make it much bigger straight away but the spacing up here as well we're going to increase that up to five and that's the, basically the spacing between each um, link so we click OK on this and again and preview that you see straight away that we've got a much um, bigger easier to click on um, links in our drop down so next thing we want to do is actually make it a little bit more fitting with the um, website teams uh, color wise so this is kind of a bit drab it's all gray 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 um, so close that so we'll double click on our navbar again and click on the pop-up menu style button and in here is where you can change all the different colors so for the background let's go with a dark gray like this here maybe and for the menu text let's go with white uh, to do that, let's just drag this up here to white and um, for the background over so this is when you um, hover over one of the links this is the background uh, highlight color that will change um, I'd recommend contrasting this to whatever you've picked for your menu background but in this case I'm going to add a bit of color and I'm going to uh, select uh, team color 2 here which is orange um, you can also do the edit button to do that manually. Um, menu text over. I'm going to leave that white so that the text won't change just the actual background. But you can also change the text too if you want. And border. I'm going to add a border as well. Um, to do this, I'm just going to select the exact same as the background, first of all. And then I'm going to darken it by just dragging this down like this. Okay, now you won't see a border unless you actually specify the size up here. So for border pixels, I'm just going to put in one. Usually, one is enough for the border. Um, you probably don't want too thick a border, it won't look that great. Uh, and you can also get away with no border too, so it's you know not necessary. So we click OK on this and click OK again. And let's preview that and see what it looks like. So now we've got a nice, looking at it now as is, it kind of blends nice with the actual nav bar with the white text links and the grey background. And you can, I don't know if you can make it out, a little border around it as well. And if we hover over it then you can see we've got a nice um, orange highlight which matches the website team. So visually now we've got a nice um, drop down. Now... One of the things, you, um, if you wanted to increase the space, if you felt this was a little close to the left, um, this is probably the trickiest thing to do, and you wanted to move that over, um, I'll show you how you can do that. Now, I'm actually using version 10, and this is something I tried in version 11, and didn't work at all, but actually works in version 10. So, if you uh, 
edit, say, the first item, and put a space before it, and click OK, and then preview it, you can see that actually has moved it over a little bit. So you can create a nice little uh, space, but it'll only accept one space. So um, if I double click into it again and say on the one beneath it, I added a lot of spaces like this. You can see them there. You click OK and then preview it. It won't actually, um, it ignores all but the four space. So you're kind of limited to that, which is actually quite fine. I mean, that's a nice gap there now. But strangely enough, I tried this in version 11, which is newer, and that doesn't work at all. It actually trims all the spaces off. So I don't know if that's intended or if that was something that was overlooked. Um, but I really like the fact that you can just simply just add a space in there uh, in version 10. And it would be nice to have that um, always. But uh, I'll show you how to get around that now in a second. So we can close this. So if we open the nav bar again, and we go in here. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these back to normal. And I'm going to show you how to do this another way. So to do this another way, what you need to do is go down to, you got to open up your Windows uh, character map. Um, so if you just go into your start menu and search for character map and then open that. And I'm going to open it now to show you. And this is what it looks like. And this basically gives you all the different characters um, uh, for the font I have selected here, which is Arial. Uh, and we can um, click on any one of these and copy it and paste it into Zara, into the nav menu here. So, for example, say I wanted, um, well, I'll show you actually first. If you click Advanced View down here, and then uh, there's a Group By option here. So, change that to Unique, let me just move this up a bit. Change that to Unicode Subrange, and that opens up this other little window up here. And you get all these little categories so if you wanted currency symbols you have them there uh, general punctuation symbols and arrows and things like that so say for example we wanted an arrow so we could say select this arrow click on that then click select and then click copy now once you've done that you can paste it into your sub menu so let me just move this over here and if we click here and paste you can see we've got a nice little arrow and just put a space after and I'll do it on the next one as well just to show you so I'm just copying and pasting them in there click OK and preview and you see you can see you've got a nice little um, something different that you can do with your uh, drop down menu now if going back to the spaces if you just simply wanted a space um, go back to your character map and in this case uh, I'm not sure where this is categorized so I'm going to actually search for it down here and there's a thing called a no break space and um, so put in no break no oops no hyphen break and then hit search hmm. no, let, me, let me just clear all this out no no character available Okay, let me just try break and hit. Oh, it's because I've got um, a sub range selected here. So, uh, actually, change this to all and then type in no break and click search. And there we go. We've got a no break space, it's called. And um, it doesn't look like that in there, it's just a blank tile. Uh, but just click select on that and then click copy and we can copy and paste that into our nav bar now so for example on this item i'm just gonna press ctrl v by the way to paste you probably know that anyway um, and that will put one space but unlike the normal space we can put a load of these in like this if we wanted and the same on this one and then click ok and preview and you can see now that we've actually um, created our own custom distance be uh, between the left of the uh, nav border background and the actual text itself. So it's really um, it's really good. It's a nice little uh, flexible way of adding things. Now, as I said, if you're using Zard, uh version 11, uh, I, 
I've got Designer Pro version 11, and that doesn't work. Uh, sorry, that does work, but the actual uh, default space just doesn't work at all. So you have to use the character map to do it. Um, but uh, you know, there's lots of different things in there you can try. Um, if you go back to sub range, and let me see what else have we got in here? General punctuation, arrows. There's lots of different little symbols here, like this little smiley. We could select that and copy that, um, and go back in and add that into our um, for this item, say. And maybe for this one, we'll choose something different. So go back to our character map and pick uh, the diamond. Select that. Um, you wanna if you're doing more than one down here, just best to just clear. Um, and then select and copy just the one character. Uh, go back in and paste this one in. Like so. We could even put it after it like this if we wanted to. Click OK. And preview. And you can see now, we've got lots of little custom symbols and things like that. But the reason I... Um, uh, looked into this to, to begin with because I wasn't happy in some cases with the menu distance between the left and the text and this was a really good way of just adjusting that um, as I said if I just go back and edit this one more time I'm just gonna select one of these spaces like that and I'm gonna put it before each one just to make the menu consistent again just Copying and pasting that space in at the start of all of these. Like that. Get rid of this as well. Okay, and preview. And you can see we've got that extra little space there. Maybe not as obvious if I add another two into each one, perhaps. So we've got one, two, one, two. One two, one two, one two. Okay, and preview. And you can see now we've increased that. So that's something you can't do through the pop up um, menu thing. If you, if you go in here and look at this, there's no option to actually adjust that left hand spacing. But I mean, that is the way to do it. And that is pretty much it. I mean, there's there's other options here, like you can adjust. Um, if you want to appear slowly, you can put a slow on that and add some transparency. So we could go 80% um, transparent. That's probably, uh, let me think, that's probably too high. Let's go 20% transparency. Click OK, click OK, and preview. You can see now we've got a nice transparent menu as well. Depending on your tastes, you might like that better or not. Um, and you can see as well when I hover over it, it's a slow uh, fade to it as well. So there's some good tips there on uh, how to customize your drop down menu. If you like this video, uh, please leave a like or a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.